Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and in this video I want to talk about Farpoint, which is an upcoming PlayStation VR game which I've had the privilege of previewing on a couple of occasions now. Those of you who follow the channel may remember that back in September I was lucky enough to try out a ton of VR games prior to the headset's release and Farpoint was one of those and just this week I got to actually play Farpoint again um, but this time on the PlayStation 4 Pro and um, it really solidified my opinion that Farpoint is one of my most anticipated upcoming virtual reality releases. Um, for those of you who don't know it's basically Starship Troopers but the defining feature here is that Sony's worked with the developer on a new kind of peripheral called the PlayStation VR our aim controller and what this basically is if you remember the sharpshooter on the PlayStation 3 it's more or less an evolution of that so it's a gun that you hold and it's got analog sticks on it it's got buttons on it and it's also got a move bulb on the front which you know is used for tracking and so when you're playing Farpoint the gun is kind of represented in 3D space in the game um, so you can kind of look down in virtual reality and you can see the gun that you're holding uh, represented you know accurately in the game world and they've put a lot of work into the gun models and, and kind of the detail that's on the guns so there's lots to kind of really inspect close up um, and that's a lot of fun but I like a lot of the mechanics that are at play in this so you can actually use the gun and kind of hold it up to the headset and look down the barrel of the gun and you'll get a reticule kind of like aiming down the sights in Call of Duty but you're actually having to physically do it with the weapon that's in your hands and I find that really satisfying and really fun and even though the gameplay isn't really that I don't want to say it's unexciting because it's fun but you know it's it's not the most innovative or original kind of gameplay that you're ever going to find um, but having that novelty of holding the weapon and looking down the barrel of the gun um, makes up for that in quite a big way so it's really fun shooting kind of spider things it's kind of set on Mars and there are kind of these like spider scorpion type things that are all coming out of the deserty surface but yeah looking and sh looking down the gun and shooting them in the distance is a ton of fun and they've done a lot of other good stuff with kind of the mechanics so instead of just having a button that you press to change a weapon you actually have to swing the gun over your shoulder and flick it back down kind of like you're an 80s action movie star or something like that it makes you feel like Arnie and I really on the two occasions I've played it I've really got into it I've been like holding the gun sideways and sh shooting these guys shooting these aliens with a shotgun and uh, uh, like really feeling like a proper badass which I think is what the game does brilliantly well now it's using the PS4 Pro to increase the texture quality and unfortunately I wasn't able to compare it side by side with a standard PS4. I obviously did play the game on a standard PS4 in September but obviously like two or three months later it's hard to remember exactly you know how it looked. Um, but I will say that it's one of the better looking VR games that I've played thus far and there are some great looking VR games out now so that's definitely an advantage in it its favour. Um, the only thing I'll say about Farpoint and the thing that concerns me is I think they absolutely have to bundle it with the controller because I think if you remove the gun from the equation it becomes yeah a fun but not that riveting virtual reality first person shooter. With the gun it, it, it's so much more than the sum of its parts if you know what I mean. So I think they have to ship it with the gun but if they can find a way of selling the game alongside the gun for you know sort of a standard price then I think they're onto something here. It's definitely one of the VR games that's coming up that I'm really looking forward to um, and I hope they can come up with lots of boss fights and um, a varied array of enemies and stuff like that just to keep the levels interesting um, because if they do I think they've got a good game on their hands here. But anyway let me know whether you're excited for Farpoint in the comments section below and thank you so much as always for watching.